Welcome to the channel, bringing a real world perspective to the real world whiskey consumer. I'm Josh. And I'm Aaron. And welcome back to one of our topical videos. We do these on Tuesdays over here where we cover something of interest to the whiskey community. Try to start a conversation yep. with you guys. We're going to do a video today that we've actually never technically done. Even though we've kind of done it, we've done these kind of five bourbons or ryes that you only need, but we've only done whiskeys in general, not uh, bourbons specifically. Okay. So we're going to do bourbon specifically you today. Took a long way around to get yeah, there. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to cover the only five bourbons you need. This was a thing going around a couple of years ago. We now have over 300 bottles of whiskey in our home. And that's more than I thought. More than ever, I do think we could potentially be fine with just five. If we didn't have a channel, yes, we could get by yeah, with just five bottles sure. of bourbon. So there is a lot of truth behind this video for us. These are what we reach for most often. It's going to be a fun topic. We're going to cover the everyday pour, mm -hmm. but we don't drink every day. So we're going to call it our go-to pour. Yep. We're going to cover a cheap mixer or inexpensive mixer yeah. that you're not afraid to mix into some cocktails or something like that. We're going to cover the Friday night pour end of the week. Yep. Maybe you want something that's a little bit harder to get or a little bit higher proof or something like that. Yeah. More flavorful. Kick off the weekend, right? And press your guests bottle yes. something that you want to pull out when you have company over and really make an impression on them treat them to something that they may not otherwise treat themselves to because they don't treat themselves and you Just should kidding. treat yourself and the last thing will be the special occasion bottle before we get into this you should treat yourself to some of today's video sponsor what zbiotics this stuff is our own personal subscription because yes. we are customers of theirs we are believers they do happen to sponsor the channel all you do is take one of these shake it up, crack it open, take it down. It is a pre-alcohol probiotic that helps your gut process alcohol with the same type of enzyme that your liver does. Yes. Breaks down the acetaldehyde, which is a fun word to say at home if you want to try yourself. Acetaldehyde. But that's what this stuff does. And we were skeptics turned believers. We were. Didn't think it was going to be something that we really enjoyed or would work for us, or, much less wanted to yeah. do. We tried it once and said, wow. That stuff works, but maybe it's a fluke. We should try it again. Yep. We tried it a second time and we're like, okay, we have to get these on as channel sponsors. Yes. So Zbotics, thank you guys for sponsoring the channel. If you want 15% off, use code STUFF at checkout or it's down in the video description below. Yep. Again, we don't have anybody sponsor the channel that we don't fully believe in. If you happen to try this stuff and it doesn't work for you, if you're like that one in a million type of person, then it's a full money back guarantee. But we've had countless people who have tried this stuff and affectionately within our community we call this stuff the game changer yep because we like to wake up feeling good the next day after having some pours yeah we want to be able to go on about our business ain't nobody got time to feel bad nope. so thank you zbiotics for helping us all feel better the next day after we have some drinks very much appreciate that let's go ahead and get into our list yes our go-to bourbon i mean Tell the people what it is if you had any guesses. If you are a long time watcher or a short time watcher of the channel, you know what I'm going to say. Wild Turkey Rare Breed. Rare breed. <laughs> so I'm nothing if not predictable. <clears throat> yeah. When we were putting this list together, Aaron was like, it's got to be Rare Breed. Yeah. Can we just have five bottles of Rare Breed for all five categories? No, I didn't say that. You asked me that and I was like, no, we should we should mix it up. But yeah. I wouldn't hate it. Yeah. So Rare Breed is what we love. We should go ahead and starting this list, we should say that our preferences are towards nicely flavorful pours. Yeah. We don't like anything that's hot for the sake of being hot, yeah. but we definitely don't shy away from proof in the name of flavor. Right. Like we want that flavor. Well, and especially this is a one, is it 116? 116. 116. 116 proof. I remember that. I'm so proud of myself. We, this, while this is the everyday pour, we don't drink every day. So this is our go-to pour. So we're less volume drinkers so mm -hmm. we will reach for this more frequently even though it is a little bit higher proof it's not something i would drink every day but i don't drink every day but if i right. want something this is what i want right just it's, it's our go-to yeah literally and again to your point if we were volume drinkers we would have something that's lower proof yeah. and we would have something that was a little bit more inexpensive value conscious right. budget conscious in that case we would reach for wild turkey 101 right. i mean we don't like this stuff very much as you can clearly yeah, tell we, we it. barely drink it at all <laughs> but yeah i mean honestly wild turkey fits our flavor profile very well mm -hmm. you know 
it may not may or may not fit yours, but we never gave it the time of day before we started this channel and started true, doing blind true. tastings. And now it's our favorite. So don't write something off just because you haven't tried it. Yep. Wild Turkey Rare Breed is the truth. Let's go ahead and move into our inexpensive mixer. Do it. And this for us is a no brainer. Yeah. It is JTS Brown. Yes. This stuff. Josh has made me the best old fashioned I've ever had in my life with this. Yeah. And these are like for this size of bottle, you're looking at under 15 bucks. And this bottle is for demonstration purposes only. Actually, what we do is we buy the big plastic <laughs> 1.75 liter handles and use this to make cocktails. And I think you can only get those in <clears throat> Kentucky, right? There, or... It is available in a few other states out there, okay. but not every state. So if you can't get JTS Brown, the natural choice is Evan Williams White Label. Yeah, we wanted to give you guys one. an alternative if you didn't like higher proof or you weren't able to get this. Evan Williams White Label makes a great mixer. It's like 18 bucks for one of these, or you can get a handle yeah. that's even more. And honestly, the Evan Williams, I would drink on its own as well. Yeah. Like, I would sip it neat and mix it. So, I think that's a good, like, BOGO. Buy one, get one. Mm -hmm. Get kind of two drinks for the price of one. And to that point, Wild Turkey 101 is fantastic for that as well. Mm -hmm. But this stuff, again, does yeah. make our favorite old-fashioned oh, yeah. around here. And it's the cheapest thing, even cheaper than Wild Turkey 101 or Evan Williams Bottle and Bond. So, fantastic bottle of whiskey there and it's good enough to drink neat as well let's go ahead and move into our friday night pour okay. so the week is over with we want to try something that we're going to have a pour of yes kick the weekend off right it's a I celebration i am drinking red wine yeah. i'm oh, being yeah. honest <laughs> yep my true. pour of choice on friday nights is a glass of red wine any but, kind i don't right. care but this is the bourbon list i know i'm just being truthful i gotta keep it real <laughs> it's gonna be elijah craig barrel proof yeah Again, we're we're trending towards the very classic bourbon profile. Lots of caramel, lots of vanilla, oak. The ECBPs have 12 year age statements up to recently. They've switched it and they had one that was 11 years. Okay. The next batch coming out is 13 years. So they're varying wow. a little bit, but this stuff is so good. I wanna make a comment. Even if you don't love high proof stuff, I have watered this down to like around 90 proof, adding a fair bit of water to a glass with it. And it's great like that. It's very cool. good in cocktails if you want to make an expensive cocktail. It's fantastic to serve over ice if you like it that way. It's just really, really good whiskey. It's a good way to kick off the weekend. It is. And Rare Breed we can find on shelves all the time now for like $52.99. This stuff is running a more like $90 in our mm -hmm. market. Yeah. So we're not going to drink it as much as yeah. frequent. Exactly. So a little, little pricier, but... You want to celebrate the weekend we're going to this next up is impressing your guests okay truth be told for me this would be where i would bring out single barrel barrel picks either from stores or mm. picks that we've done which yeah. you can access over on patreon if you're interested and so inclined and you want to try some of the stuff that we've picked i would pull out some of our picks yeah because i'm a whiskey nerd i'm hanging out with whiskey nerds yeah i want to impress them with barrel picks that are awesome. Okay, but what about someone like me who's not a whiskey nerd and I have some friends come over? Well, the other problem with barrel picks is they're like 150 of those bottles yeah. and no more. So we wanted to include things on the list you could actually hopefully kind of find. And the easy answer here That's is good. Yep. Calumet 16. Yep. 15 year, 16 year, even the 14 year is great. You're going to pay a lot of money for this. These are about 150 or $160 in most markets, which is a fair bit of money to pay for a bottle of bourbon. Yeah. But... It's definitely something that you're going to be treating your guests to when they're over. And it'll be a nice, like a special experience for you and for them and enjoyable. It's also really good whiskey and it's fun to share things that have this big of an age statement. Yeah. We've actually had this bottle. Well, not this exact bottle, but these are all backups of bottles we have <laughs> already. We've had this exact bottle in a head to head against Pappy Van Winkle 23 year. Don't want to spoil it for you, but we can put the link down there. Let's just say that it holds its own. That's so let's go ahead and get into our last category, the special occasion pour. I'm just going to be. Did we decide? I can't remember what we decided. on. We this did one. decide. Yeah. Just going to be oh, real with you guys. I remember this. Yeah. Honestly, this would also be a barrel pick of ours. Yeah, yeah. Like a couple of the picks that we've done that we really, really enjoy. That would be our special occasion pour when we're down to the last bottle or two of those. But. For this particular thing, again, we wanted to give you something you could possibly find. It's going to take some effort or you're going to have to pay up some for money, it. money, yeah. But, but what this is, we're going yeah. to include is going to be Stag Junior. Don't come is what at this us for is. this. This is a special occasion pour. 
you might want to pay a little bit more for a special occasion. Yep. Just saying. And this is our palettes again. Right. So drop the junior off and that's what you have now. It's still yep. the same bottle shape. They're up to like batch 23A or something. I, they're okay. doing weird things with the naming right now. These should be $60 bottles. In our that's what MSRP is, right? Right. In our market, they're usually sold for 80 to 100 if you have some type of store connection to get one. Oftentimes, you're going to see them in stores for two or $250, sometimes as high as $300 or more. It it's, is a lot, and you have to base your budget on that, too. Right. The way I rationalize this, because I have always gotten these from connections up to this point, mm -hmm. but... I'm at the point where I'm tired of asking my store to help me out and hook me up. I just don't like that. Yeah. So what I'm doing now is I will buy these on secondary if I can get them for the right price. We don't sell on secondary, but we will buy on secondary for the right bottles. Mm -hmm. There are batches of Stag Junior or Stag Bourbon that I really enjoy. And for those specific batches, I am willing to pay up to right. about 200 or a little bit more for it. But it's... And I don't want to promote that. Batches you're familiar with, not right. batches you've never tried before, correct? Right. All right, okay. I'm, I don't want to promote that habit, but I was challenged when someone said, hey, if you're willing to pay $200 for a four gate, this is down in the comments, if you're willing to pay $200 for a four gate, Kelvin collaboration, would you rather drink Stag Jr.? And shouldn't you be willing to pay as much for that? Fair. If you paid 250 for a bottle of this, that's $10 an ounce. I would pay $20 for a pour of this at a bar. So again, it's a special occasion. It's not something I'm going to be trying yeah. all the time. So it's going to last for quite a while. However, if you don't want to pay secondary or don't have access to secondary, you can't go wrong with the Kelvin collaborations from Fourgate. They're $200 as well. They're kind of the same path as this. They're very sweet. They're, they have just a mm -hmm. beautiful profile to them, and it's a really, really good pour. So clearly, we're putting quite a hurting on Kelvin Collaboration yeah. 5. We don't have another one of these, although we may get one, but really, really like these. And if Kelvin Collaboration 4 gates aren't sold in your market, you can find them online. So we're not telling you to go hunting for this. You can literally just go on sealbox.com. We'll put a link in the video description below. They sell it. They ship cool. them right to your door as long as you're in a state that can get bottles. Yeah. So this is our list. Put your stuff down in the comments below. We'd love to hear what you think about your five bottles, like what your five bottles would be for these categories. Yeah, what would your list be? Yeah. Like, I'd love to hear. Yeah. And this was, again, going around a couple of years back. I think it's interesting to update it because two years ago when we made videos like this. Our palette has changed and expanded. I feel like yeah. mine's expanded. Yours has probably stayed the same. Yeah. Well, I think I've I finally relinquished myself to just paying to get these. Gotcha. I find myself in my everyday life reaching for Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs more than anything else. Interesting. I found myself really appreciating Calumet and I found myself just loving JTS Brown for cocktails and inexpensive sipping. Yeah. But yeah, this is a great list. We already loved Rare Breed. Right. That's these are one. these are our bottles. We want to hear what your bottles are down in the comments below. If you like this style of video, be sure to like it. Go yeah. ahead and hit that bell down there if you want to join us for a live stream. It will let you know when we're going live. And if you like this style of content, subscribe because we do it every week over here. Absolutely. That's it for today. Be good to each other. And until next time. Cheers. cheers.